Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a hammerhead shark because I was inspired by Shark Week and I thought it was a perfect time to bring alcohol inks back and of course my go-to favorite resin for alcohol inks is Maker Boxy. This is a very thick viscosity resin so I love the fact that it suspends the inks perfectly without them just falling to the bottom and leaving splotches I'm everywhere. I'm going to let this sit in the cup probably for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to check on it every once in a while and then I'm going to squirt some isopropyl alcohol in it just for popping surface bubbles um, and then I will be back. Okay, so this cup has been sitting for 10 minutes and I'm going to spray some isopropyl alcohol in there just to pop the surface bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and let this rest for 5 more minutes because it just doesn't feel as warm as I'd like. I couldn't decide what shade of blue that I really wanted, so I'm going to go ahead and use these three, and they are by Bria Reese, and they are turquoise, ultramarine, and Prussian blue. I buy my favorite white sinker in bulk, so I put it in this little um, bottle here with this needle tip applicator, which is super important. Um, the size difference compared to a regular size alcohol ink bottle is tremendous. Um, you want to drop more color than you do white, or you will have a ton of white spots on your piece. Again, I'm going to get my isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to spritz all over this mold and that is so that it pops bubbles that could possibly trap on the surface of the shark. Now, I don't like to fill my mold all the way, probably just about halfway, and the reason is because I back every single alcohol ink piece that I make with more resin and I actually use a different resin and I will explain more of that later. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up my bottles of alcohol ink and please put some gloves on. I've already got ink all over my gloves actually, so this is a reminder, PPE is crucial. I didn't have a design plan or any type of pattern planned out prior to this and so I just kind of went random with how I added my coloring. The color that I am using first is turquoise. And based off some comments on my past alcohol videos, I use a crap ton of ink compared to y'all. Um, I get so many questions asking me about how my pieces don't turn out sticky. And well, honestly, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that this resin that I'm using, Maker Poxy, is just so much thicker than your average resin that it's just, it's able to hold the weight of the inks and really suspend them to get them those really good drips. And now I decided to go ahead and add some of that Prussian blue, which is kind of like a grayish blue. Um, I've used it on past projects and I just think it's super pretty. Um, a little tip if you've never used alcohol inks before is for every drop of the colored ink, I follow it with a drop of the white to the best that I can. Um, but if you remember, the nozzle tips are different sizes. So I'm actually dropping way more color compared to the white. And that just allows the color to be able to sink without it actually turning white. Um, uh, what a lot of people have problems with is like they have giant white spots. But if you add more color compared to white, um, the white doesn't muck up the color and it just it stays its true vibrant color. For my last shade of blue, I am using the Ultramarine, which is, oh my gosh, super vibrant. Um, I'm glad I used this last. I feel like it would take over the whole piece and you wouldn't see the other shades of blue that I added first. Quick note, I am actually speeding this video up times two. I do not work this fast. It's actually a very slow process. However, it can get boring and I just find it way more satisfying to watch whenever it is sped up. I personally don't like see-through spots in my alcohol ink pieces, so I like to make sure that I completely cover the back of this in ink and I can't see the bottom of my mold. Once you think you've added enough colored ink, you go back and you really just kind of drip in random spots. I like to look for the darker pigmented places. That means I can add more white and it will keep its color. Now it's time to go ahead and add our second layer of epoxy and I like to use Total Boat's high performance for backing all of my alcohol ink pieces. However, I've had this resin for a while so it turned this not so pleasant yellow color. But a quick tip is that blue cancels out yellow. So if you add the tiniest amount of a blue pigment to your resin, it should almost look clear. I actually want a blue color and I'm using this super pigmented um, resin dye from Illumilite. Seriously, like 
you don't even want to use that full amount on that popsicle stick the little drip i put in this is probably enough um yeah that's actually pretty dark that's darker than what i wanted so i'm just gonna go ahead and dispose of this popsicle stick and mix up this pigment real quick again it is a luma light blue i will link all my supplies down below why i decided to use this high performance epoxy for my alcohol ink pieces it is because it cures fast it only needs a thin layer and it cures super rock hard which is a great comparison um, compared to Maker Poxy, which has a little bit of a give. It is more for a top coat rather than a casting resin. This guy is completely cured, hard to the touch, not warping, not bending, so I'm super excited to see how he turns out. This was a 3D printed mold that I made smooth so it gets stuck or in the mouth and the eye, so I have to be super careful right here that I don't tear this little piece off, but look at how freaking gorgeous this thing looks. It almost reminds me of the night sky um wow so i'm a little disappointed i was trying to get some really good goopy globs in there but check out how freaking gorgeous this thing is i could stare at this thing forever i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in indirect lighting the very next day and overall i am super happy with how vibrant the color stayed i don't have any white patches um it's got some nice drippage going on and it's kind of got some of that like spider web effect I have done better in the past, but I think it's gorgeous and I love it. Thanks so much for watching my tutorial. I plan on doing a ton of really cool tutorials in the future, so please like and subscribe.